Let's graph the equation y equals 3 fourths x plus 1. And we'll do this two ways. First, we're going to put some values in for x here, figure out y, and then we can plot those on our graph paper. Next, we'll check our work with the slope-intercept formula just to make sure we're right. So let's see. Why don't we put some values in for x? And I think here I'm going to start with 0 because 3 fourths times 0, that's just a 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. I can choose any values for x that I want. They'll all fall on the line y equals 3 fourths x plus 1. But I think if I put 4, 3 fourths times 4, 4s would cancel out. That would be 3 plus 1, and that's 4. That's going to be easier to graph because it's a whole number. Let's try negative 4 as well. So if we put negative 4 in for x, 3 fourths times negative 4, that gives us a negative 3. So negative 3 plus 1, that's negative Two. So these are the points that we're going to graph for y equals 3 over 4x plus 1. We'll start off with x is 0, y is 1. So x is 0 and then y is 1. It's our first point. And then we have x is 4 and y is 4. And we could stop there and draw our line, but having that extra point, that makes sure that you've done these two correctly. So how about negative 4 for x and negative 2? For y. And we see they all fall on this line here. So let's put a line through this. And this is the graph for y equals 3 fourths x plus 1. Let's check our work with slope intercept formula. So if y equals mx plus b, b is the y intercept. That's 1. That's where we're going to cross the y intercept. So we go to the y intercept, we go down to 1, and that's our first point. For 3 over 4, that's the slope, that's m. We could call that rise over run. Then we go to the y-intercept. We rise 1, 2, 3, and we go over 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're right on the line. Go to that point, rise 1, 2, 3, and go over 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're on the line. So that shows that we did this correctly. This is Dr. B with the graph for y equals 3 fourths x plus 1. Thanks for watching.